Ken Trade by Kananga presents to you the basics of technical analysis. The Moving Average Convergence Divergence, also known as MACD, is a popular technical indicator used by a lot of traders. The MACD itself shows the relationship between two moving averages. By default, they are usually the 26-period and 12-period exponential moving average. It is calculated by subtracting the 26-period exponential moving average from the 12-period exponential moving average. In the MACD indicator, there is a horizontal line in the middle, and it is known as the center line. When the 12-period exponential moving average crosses above the 26-period exponential moving average, the MACD line will cross above the center line, indicating a bullish momentum. When the 12-period exponential moving average crosses below the 26-period exponential moving average, the MACD line will cross below the center line, hinting a bearish momentum. Therefore, when the position of the MACD line is above the center line, it is in a bullish zone. And when the position of the MACD line is below the center line, it is in a bearish zone. You will also see another line in the MACD indicator, which is known as the signal line. By default, the parameter is the 9-period exponential moving average. The histogram that you see in the MACD indicator is plotted by subtracting the value of the MACD line with the value of signal line. One of the most common ways of using the MACD indicator is to cross over. When the MACD line crosses above the signal line, it triggers a technical buy signal. And when the MACD line crosses below the signal line, it triggers a technical sell signal. Instead of buying and selling stocks based on signals provided by the MACD indicator alone, traders are advised to analyze other aspects of the stocks, for instance, the price trend, volume, other moving averages, as well as the overall market sentiment. To learn more about technical analysis, sign up for Kananga's upcoming workshops at www.kentrade.com.my.